Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about a process called energy weaving. So, you know, our energy fields, of which there are quite a few for each human being, contain uh, flavors or strands or colors or tastes of energy, right? which can be envisioned like like a, maybe a rope, a temporal rope with uh, all different beautiful colors of, of silk thread in it. Millions. Okay. Now, the, the composition of the, the energy threads in our energy field uh, determines the astral stories that we hear, for instance, which are through a process of distillation, 10,000 to 1 in weight, distilled from the astral plane, from the dream time plane, into our physical reality. And in this way, we co create the physical realm. Uh, so, so, in order to co create the most harmony in the world today, the most love and peace and joy, the most unity, then we need to consider the colors or flavors or textures of the energy strands in our energy field. Yes? And, and there is a, a process of identifying and eliminating the strands that are very dense or heavy or dark or different from the love and light and joy that are the universe and of disengaging our own soul and our own energy fields from those energies. I've talked a little in the past about the path of Dharma, of right action in the world, of the tiniest action in alignment with the mind and heart and will of God that acts as a fulcrum for our destiny. Some tiny action that disengages us from that, that one thread of darkness in the karma of the universe. So, I put it to you. When you review your astral stories, if you're in the stage of listening to them, consider what is it that allows your soul to flow with that astral story? What tiny strand? Is it a strand of darkness and denseness, density, or is it a strand of, of light and love? And if it's the first, then think what right action, what right action in alignment with God's will and God's heart and God's mind would allow you to detach from that strand. It's quite an interesting science, is it not? Quite an amazing science. So, God bless you all and keep you in His love and light and joy.